hello everyone and welcome to this video in this video let's uh, quickly cross check the fourth quarter data that we calculated is actually the right data or not so what we have to do we have to go to the annual report of 2020 this is the annual report so uh, control F and here you have to type quarterly enter just check uh, this particular table gives you the quarterly data this particular section so this is net sales these are the net sales of first three quarters and this sales we have calculated so this is actually what we want to cross check so come here so March 3412, 3412, June 3465, 3465, 3429, 3429, 3464. This is what we want to cross-check. That what we calculated is right or wrong. So 3464 is the right data. So if you want to cross-check with the previous uh, quarters also, you can do it on your own. So I just wanted you to know that what we calculated is right and there is nothing wrong in that. Now in the next video onwards, we will understand how to actually forecast income statement, balance sheet and cash flow statement. To forecast any item that you want to forecast, that will include four steps. What are the four steps? The first step is to collect the historical data, right? Then the second step will be to do the historical analysis. Now based on historical analysis, management guidelines, research reports or your knowledge about the company, based on these various parameters, you have to take certain assumptions. Okay, based on the assumptions, you have to forecast the items. Okay, so as of now what I have done, I have collected only the historical income statement. So my first step is done. Now what is the second step? We have to decide the projection criteria and accordingly we have to do the historical analysis. We will do the historical analysis of each item of income statement and balance sheet and cash flow statement. But we will do it by one by one item. Okay, we will first understand the projection criteria for sales, then COGS, then SGNA, then taxes, interest, dividend, and we will proceed with the each line of income statement, each line of balance sheet, and each line of cash flow statement. So, historical data we have to collect, we have to do the historical analysis, we have to take assumptions based on historical analysis, based on management guidelines, based on the research reports, based on industry publications or based on your knowledge about the company based on your objective why you are preparing the financial model so based on various parameters you have to take assumptions now assumptions are different for each analyst okay when the assumptions will differ from analyst to analyst and from time to time this quarter when you are preparing the financial model the assumption will be different when next time you will prepare the financial model, the assumption for the same company will be different because your knowledge will be different. The data that you have in your Excel will be different. Your objective may be different. So based on so many things, the amount of assumption will be different. My recommendation to you is that do not think too much about the amount of assumption. Try to understand the structure of the financial model. Try to understand how do we work with Excel. Try to understand how financial statements are connected with each other. Okay. Try to understand how schedules are created. Do not think too much about just the amount of assumption. Why we have taken this much percentage of dividend. Why we have taken this much percentage of capital expenditure. Why we have taken this much of account receivable. This much of this thing. No. Don't think too much about it. Just go with the flow that I am teaching. Don't get stuck somewhere. Okay, simply follow the procedure with each item. Watch one video and practice in your Excel file. Okay, don't think that why we have taken this much uh, of COGS, 
only. We could take some another amount of assumptions also. We can definitely take. But first focus on completion of the financial model. Once you understand how the financial model is prepared, then we have to spend time on fixing the amount of assumption also. Okay, we want to reach to a certain profit. Profit is not achieved in Excel. Then what we have to do? We have to go back and change the assumption. We want to decide how much uh, cap capex will be required, how much funds will be required. So what we have to do for that? We will come back and change the assumption. So assumptions are something that we will be changing when the model is completed. Okay, so when you are preparing the model, don't focus too much about, about the amount of assumptions. Just finish the model with whatever assumption I will be taking in this model. Once the model is completed, spend time as much as you want, do analysis as much as you want, do research as much as you want and fix the assumption. Okay, it will take several years for you to be able to take the assumptions for a company. Initially, no one is going to ask you to settle the assumptions. They will give you the references which you have to read and take the assumptions from there. Okay, so go with the videos, follow the procedure, understand the model. Once you complete this model, you will definitely have a lot of confidence. Okay, what is happening these days with many of my students whom I am sending to different companies for uh, recruitment, for interviews. They are being asked to prepare a separate project. They will give you the project which you have to complete in two or three days and then come back for face to face round of interview. So if you know how to prepare the financial model, then you can prepare the financial model of any given company. What I'm saying, if you understand how models are created, if you prepare all the models in my online course, which I'm teaching or in my live classes, which I'm teaching, if you prepare all the models, then you can prepare the models of any given company in the world. Definitely, you will need little more additional knowledge about the business of the company, but you will not be left out. You will not be blank. You will be able to start the model with little efforts. You will be able to complete the model. And if the day is yours, you will be selected in the investment banking profile. Okay. Uh, I think this is what I wanted to share with you in this video. Now, let us understand how do we do the historical analysis and start understanding how do we prepare forecasting of income statement balance sheet and cash flow statement in the next video onwards thank you very much thanks for watching